Lisa Scafidi has been the Lord Mayor of Paris for seven years. A combination of brains and beauty, she's unique in the world of local politics. Hello Lisa, hello darling, welcome to the show. Thank you Barbara, lovely to be with you. Lisa, your journey as the Lord Mayor began in 2007. How has your vision for the city of Paris changed since then? Well, we've come a long way in uh, that period of time and I'm very proud of what's been achieved. But I think it's fair to say my vision probably gets bigger and bolder the more I'm aware of what we could achieve if we all work together and uh, continue to push through and achieve even more for this wonderful city. Beautiful, but you really make people coming together and working with you? Yes, I love to bring people together. I love to consult and explain because really local government and a Lord Mayor on his or her own can do very little. You need everybody to be on board with the vision. I would like you to share with us a story about the top 10 of the World Mayor Project. All right. Because you yes. have been the only woman in the World Mayor Project, yes, in the top 10. In that year, I was the only woman in the uh, final top 10, which was mind blowing. Uh, look, in 2012, when I was you know, the runner-up of the World Mayor Award. It was incredible to think someone from Perth really did so well in a global competition. And I'd known about my process through that competition for about, I think, 10 months prior. And I remember one night late at home, I think I was actually upstairs having a shower after the work day, and I read my email and it said something like, oh, you're in the final 25. Wow. And I called out to Joe down the stairs, what a joke, I'm in the final 25. And we were laughing about it, never thinking it would go any further. And then, you know, a few months later, I got another email to say I was in the top 10 and didn't realise then that it was going to be, you know, that I was then runner up. So absolutely amazing. That brings me to a question, Lisa, being a beautiful, glamorous, Keep successful talking, woman. Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I love it. Successful woman in a still men's world, especially politics, still so dominated by the men's world. How do you succeed? How do you, <laughs> is it sometimes, you know, easier or is it sometimes more difficult being who you are? I get asked that a lot by other women oh. who are on this journey. Yes. And my answer is, uh, again, just be yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, I've always enjoyed being a feminine woman, as in clothes, makeup, hair, a bit like you. I like being a girl. But I don't overplay that. I think in meetings you need to be about the business and I'm conscious too in some meetings not to over talk which I think women have a tendency to do sometimes. So I often suggest to other women going on this journey with us to perhaps identify a few key items on an agenda but don't feel you need to talk on every item. Mm -hmm. Pick the two or three that might be the most critical to you and perhaps focus on those. You're addressing incredibly important issues to make city feel safe, yes? Yes. To give people the feeling that the beautiful city of Paris, you know, can be accessed and walked Absolutely. at night. People want to be able to walk through the city, not to feel intimidated. But then by the same token, the people who are uh, in a situation need to be helped as well. Absolutely. As custodians of the city, we have a duty of care to all of those people. Mm. Our ratepayers, our citizens, our visitors, our landowners to provide a good city, but also to those in need to get them the kind of help that they uh, truly deserve. Lisa, now you have worked in various career fields. Yes. How has this shaped your perspective on leadership? Oh, that's a great question. I believe cumulatively my different career roles, my jobs throughout my lifetime have shaped me to be the person I have become today. I've loved every job I've ever had mm -hmm. and you know I've been able to see and glimpse into so many wonderful industries and worlds as I put it um, and that's shaped my personality and my work ethic and my belief in self and they're things that I now try and share with the young people that I mentor. Mm -hmm. I think it's really crucial for young people to know who they are, have a great work ethic, realise that the world doesn't owe you a living, you've got to go out there and make it happen for yourself. But in doing so, if you really love what you're doing, you don't work a day in your life. 
seven years as a Lord Mayor, yes? Mm -hmm. What was your most significant or difficult or, again, memorable decision you memorable. had to make? I yes. love the way you say that. <laughs> One of the highlight meetings has been with Queen Elizabeth when she was here for Chogham. And I had only just been re-elected as Mayor into my second term and I met her a week into that term and when Premier Barnett introduced me to her uh, and she gave me her little gloved hand to shake and I curtsied she said are you really the Lord Mayor <laughs> and I thought was she expecting a guy or what was the response you know it just yeah. stayed with me and she was so beautiful and the one thing that really stayed with me were her beautiful green eyes and her incredible eye contact. She was so with you in that moment and her conversation was beautiful. I suppose if I'm continuing to brag, you know, I got to meet Hillary Clinton when yes. she was here. She could be the next president of the United States. But even then, the other people that you meet along the way, you know, the business people, uh, the visiting dignitaries, and then of course the very valued you know, owners and residents and, you know, business people in our city. It actually brings my memory to a short story I will share with you. Yes. I, we went to a cocktail party, engagement party in a beautiful venue in the city. I haven't been there before. I said to the guests, oh, that's so lovely. I haven't seen it. It's new. And one of the very important guests said, there are only two reasons for it. Lisa Scafidi. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and if it was true. always like that, Barbara. <laughs> Lisa, I just think you, you, really, you really gave new breeze to the city of Perth. You're bringing new life and I think your contribution is really invaluable. Oh, I well, that's so kind. But look, we are a team here at the city. I'm only one vote around the uh, council table of n nine elected people. But beyond my role, I can be positive and I can really inspire people to appreciate that we're in a very special time right now in Western Australia. Mm -hmm. I do think Perth's time has arrived. We now truly know who we are and who we want to be. And you'll love this little sort of way that I put it. I often describe Perth as being a young, sexy woman. She's no longer a gawky teenager, unsure of herself. She's like a young young contemporary woman going out into the world and really expressing who she is and that's kind of a female uh, in the male world yeah <laughs> in the male world and it's kind of a sweet way to put where Perth is at but that's not against all the great guys that are out there and doing it as well I love it yeah. beautiful